Welcome back artists. Today we're going to continue identifying cross contour drawings so we can understand 3D forms even more. Remember a contour line is an outline that follows the edge of an object. Cross contour lines are contour lines that travel across the top of an object or across the surface to create the illusion of volume. Today we will continue to add cross contour lines to create the illusion of rounded 3D forms, specifically forms you would find in a still life. A still life is a painting or drawing of an arrangement of things, typically including fruit, flowers, and objects contrasting with these in texture, such as bowls and glassware. Here's an example of a still life from the Dutch golden age of painting. Right now, I want you to stop and jot in your guided notes as many objects you see from the painting's subject matter. Go for it. For our studio practice today, we will draw cross contour lines across the surfaces of different still life objects. This could be bowls, bottles, glasses, fruit, flowers, whatever objects float your boat. Don't worry about grouping your still life objects together yet. That is going to be for our next lesson. But first, let's warm up our hand-eye coordination with this cross-contour drawing. I want you to open your sketchbook and work along with me now. All right, kiddos, for our guided practice, you can see that I've already drawn three geometric triangles with my pencil. Now I'm using a pen to draw those cross-contour lines. First things first, I'm going to draw just straight horizontal lines, repeating those lines just in the background behind those triangles. Because this is just a guided practice warm up, I'm not worrying about using a ruler, but you are more than welcome to get really precise with those straight horizontal lines and use a ruler. You can see that I'm not drawing the horizontal lines th throughout the inside of those triangles. Not yet, at least. Anywhere where I have an open space in the background Let's draw those horizontal lines as close together as we can possibly get. All right, now that I've filled up my background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect those horizontal lines using curved lines. I noticed in our last practice, we didn't really make those curves really dramatic. I want you to connect those horizontal lines with really big curved lines. Almost like that curved line is jumping from horizontal line to horizontal line. And if you see if any of the areas didn't quite link up, the lines didn't quite link up, you can go back and clean those up. Let's do that again. My job in these cross contour drawings is to link the two horizontal lines with a big curved line. And remember if there's any areas that actually didn't connect, go back and clean those up. Awesome. You can see there that I've got that illusion of this curved cone area by using horizontal lines and curved lines. All right, same thing here. I'm going to use really dramatic curves, almost like an arch, to connect every horizontal line. And what that does is it creates these cross contour lines I create the illusion that this is, in fact, a curved cone. It's a really cool way just to create a piece of op art or art that shows an optical illusion. 
Alrighty, artists, now that we're all warmed up in your sketchbook or on a plain piece of paper, you're gonna create cross contour drawings of still life objects that you either brainstorm from your list on your guided notes or just objects that you see around your house. Check out how I do this next in the video. Just like always, I use my pencil first to just lightly sketch out the contour or outline of my still life objects. You can see here I have a vase and an apple. Next, I'm gonna to go to my marker. I think I called it a pen earlier. Sorry about that. And just to kind of help keep track, I'm gonna first draw a vertical line of symmetry. I like to do this because this is the point where I'm looking straight on at my object. And then from there, I'm gonna mimic that curved contour, that curved edge of the apple here using those curved lines. You can see that I start each line at the same spot and then close that curved line always at the same spot, linking those lines together. Once again, I want to try not to flatten out my cross contour line too much because as we know, the surface of an apple, it's rounded. I can't forget about the other cross contour lines that curve around the back of that apple. Cool, just like that. Now, if I move on to a vase, I'm going to start with that first vertical line of symmetry. That's my center point. And you can see here, I have a curved contour of the vase that curves in at the neck and then it curves out at the body or the base of the vase. I still wanna create that illusion with my cross contour lines. I curve in and then out. I curve in and then curve out. Always trying to touch those cross contour lines at the top and at the bottom. Now, if you have an open object like the mouth of this face, what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is just mimic that curve of the opening around and around and around. Just like that. You can see I didn't use tons of cross contour lines. You could definitely use a pen and get those lines a lot closer. Then clean up any of those little pencil marks that are still showing through. I do that with my eraser and I'm done. Have fun guys.